a lot of the things you mentioned in this question are important. Um, you've kind of skipped over them, but I want to really focus on them. Um, incre increasing your endurance physically is always going to help. Uh, if you're tired physically, then your mind will follow. Um, so if you can increase your endurance, increase your physical capabilities, then your mind will not be, not be as prone to wandering. But you can also train your mental endurance in a similar way in which you train your physical. So you want to practice complex mental exercises, maybe doing a crossword or doing some sport that is complex and difficult, and try and build up the endurance and how long you can last doing that, and you will slowly build your mental endurance as well. Also, things with the diet, so the things that you eat during the day can help. So not drinking caffeine or eating too much sugar, as these things only give short-term short -term energy, and then they dip even lower afterwards. So by the end of the day, you've used up all those reserves and you have no energy left to, to concentrate and to focus. Drinking enough water, um, it sounds obvious, but it's still a big problem for a lot of people in, in sport. They don't, they don't realize just how much they actually have to drink. Um, and as soon as you start being a slight bit dehydrated, the first thing that you start to suffer from is a lack of concentration a proneness to your, to your mind wandering around and a tiredness that you don't really get if you're fully hydrated. A slightly different thing to the pacing that you mentioned. Um, so a different way is to, is to learn to switch off and on. Uh, so during the day it's going to be a long day where you have lots of matches but then you're also going to have a lot of downtime in between these matches whether it be 10 minutes while you're waiting to play the next match or whether it be an hour and a half for lunch or two hours between, between events. If you stay switched on, if you stay fully concentrating and paying attention to table tennis the whole time, then you're going to get tired of it quicker. And by the end of the day, all those energy reserves in your mind will be used up and you'll be too tired to play. So you need to learn to kind of switch off when you're not performing or when you're not playing or needing to, to learn tactics or watch other players, you can fully switch off, think about something else, don't do anything too energy requiring, just enjoy yourself and have some relaxing time. But then you need to learn to be able to switch back on, and this is the more difficult thing. Um, so to do this you can, you can create another routine um, or a link or association that will help you help you do that switch back on. So it might be a physical, a physical routine. So uh, if you click your fingers and say something, then you will learn to associate that with being concentrated. And if you build this association up, you will be able to do it quicker and more effectively. Um, this can also work the same way in a match. Uh, so you need to make a conscious decision to switch on before every point. So if you can switch on, be ready for the point, play the point at full concentration, full focus, then between the points you can switch off, relax a little bit more, um, take some time to gather your breath, gather your energy, and then be ready to switch back on for the next point. If you're in between points and struggling to, struggling to switch off or relax a little bit, some deep breathing um, and just general walk away from the table a little bit, take a little bit extra time, just to get that extra relaxation, save that energy that you would otherwise be wasting because you're so tense and so tensed and high high blood pressure and high heart rate. If you can bring these down, then you won't be so you won't be so tired at the end.